Who are you gonna call? Duh, Watch Mojo. That's what I suspected. Just checking. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down the top 10 video game ghosts. It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. For this list, we've chosen a variety of video game ghosts. Everything from the cute to downright terrifying. <laughs> Please be advised that spoilers lie ahead. Consider yourself warned. <laughs> Number 10, Lady Comstock, Bioshock Infinite. Bioshock Infinite took the series to the skies, with the game's conflict between the founders and the Vox Populi playing out in the breathtaking floating city of Columbia. Lady Comstock, how lovely to see you. Wonderful of you to make the journey, especially considering your painful death 19 years ago. Even though Lady Comstock was a member of the founders, as she was married to their leader, she was also deeply respected by the Vox Populi for her kindness. Frankly, she doesn't seem all that cooperative. After her death, under suspicious circumstances, she was revered by nearly the entire population of Columbia. That is, of course, until she returned from the dead as a terrifying spirit with a thirst for vengeance. What's happening? It would seem your mother is raising the dead. Number nine, Aiden Beyond Two Souls. Described as an interactive drama rather than a game, Beyond Two Souls stars Academy Award nominees Ellen Page and Willem Dafoe in this supernatural thriller. They're coming. As the storyline progresses, it's revealed that Ellen Page's character is somehow tethered to a ghostly presence named Aiden, who is also a playable character and the companion that helps Page's character Jody solve crimes as a CIA agent. Hurry, Aiden. It hurts like hell when you're too far away. Aiden is more than just an invisible friend. On top of allowing Jody to see into the recent past, he can heal, possess, or even strangle other characters in order to help her out. Number eight, Polter Pup, Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon. Hey. Uh -huh. Bad doggy. Everyone's favorite sidekick finally got another entry into his solo series with the release of Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon for the 3DS. Once again, we find Luigi exploring haunted houses, vacuuming up any ghosts in sight with his trusty Poltergust 5000. Only this time, one of his ghostly adversaries is significantly cuter than usual. Uh, oh. huh? The Polter Pup is basically just your run-of-the-mill canine. Aside from the deadness, of course, he just wants to play. Unfortunately for Luigi, his favorite chew toys are the keys that you need to progress, and he loves to hide them. <laughs> Number 7, Gengar Pokemon Series. I better find out about this one! Gengar, no information available. Not again! Gengar is a dark, purple ghost-type Pokémon known for its sinister and toothy grin. <laughs> Gengar is the final evolution of Ghastly, and can be only acquired by trading Haunter to another trainer. In the Generation 6 Pokémon games for the 3DS, players can use Gengarite to cause a Mega Evolution, turning Gengar into the powerful Mega Gengar. Although you may not be able to grab one in the wild, busting out a Gengar during a battle with another trainer lets them know you mean business. Number 6, Yae Munakata Fatal Frame Series. For fans of Japanese horror, look no further than the Fatal Frame series for its truly chilling experience. The Fatal Frame games pit the player in various haunted locations, forcing them to survive against ever-encircling ghosts, often with a camera as your only weapon. Munakata is one of the only recurring characters in the series, and died a gruesome and tragic death by hanging. Mom. Now she haunts the world, desperately searching for her long-lost daughter. Number 5, Boo's Super Mario Series. 
first introduced in Super Mario Bros. 3 and found in many Mario games since, Boos are the notorious ghost enemies with flapping tongues that are found in various spooky themed locations. Sometimes small, sometimes really, really big. What the Boos lack in scariness, they often make up for in numbers. <laughs> Boos will often cover their faces in a rather futile attempt to hide when the player is facing them directly, only to sneakily approach when Mario has his back turned. Number 4. Captain LeChuck, Monkey Island Series ah, There's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. Although he also appears as a demon and a zombie at different points in the series, Captain LeChuck was first an undead ghost pirate. Captain LeChuck is the main antagonist of the classic Monkey Island series, and is known for using magic in his attempts to exact revenge upon the player. Let's not be hasty. <laughs> LeChuck is also seemingly obsessed with Elaine Marley, the protagonist's main love interest. Stop the wedding! This causes a fruitful rivalry that continues throughout the whole series, with Captain LeChuck ceaselessly attempting to win over Elaine and emerge triumphant over the player. Number 3, Calibrimbor, Middle-earth, Shadow of Mordor. What do you know of the Black Hand of Sauron? Set in the same universe as J.R.R. Tolkien's groundbreaking Lord of the Rings novels, Middle-earth, Shadow of Mordor gave players the chance to explore the story behind the forger of the fabled Rings of Power, an elven prince named Calibrimbor. Only you could accomplish such art. In the game, the player controls the ranger Talion, who acts as a vessel for Calibrimbor, allowing Talion to benefit from otherworldly powers. What's happened to me? You are banished from death. It's a grisly tale, but killing thousands of orcs and their leaders is bound to cheer you up, right? <laughs> Number 2, Alma Wade Fear Series. Alma Wade is the main antagonist of the Fear series, and the feeling she inspires in the players really lives up to the title of the series. As a troubled young girl with psionic powers, Alma Wade was inducted into Project Paragon, a series of insidious tests conducted by the Armacam Technology Corporation to ascertain whether or not her psionic abilities could be used for profit. Let's just say that Armacam definitely got more than they bargained for. I'm sure you're very pretty. Before we reveal our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. How the hell did I survive that? Uh, stay where you are, dear bag. I'm coming back up. Blinky, Pinky, Inky, and Clyde Pac-Man series. Blinky, Pinky, Inky, and Clyde are the little multicolored ghosts from the iconic arcade series Pac-Man. These adorable little guys endlessly chase Pac-Man around the screen. That is, of course, until you turn on the tables by eating a power pellet. When powered up, Pac-Man can eat the ghosts, sending them back to their spawn and giving Pac-Man some much needed rest from being hunted. Never have ghosts that are so adorable caused so much stress. I really should ghost-proof my lab. Do you agree with our list? Have you been adequately spooked? <gasps> For more chills and thrills, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You think you can do that?